race, I believe, on four new tyres. I'm not totally sure what Brinson's on. Couldn't quite hear Molly. But Christofferson's on used tyres. The two Audis have got new fronts, but Gronholm is on four new tyres. I think Christofferson needs another new door, doesn't he? Looking at, uh, looking at that, I might be wrong. Um, <laughs> Either way, bit of work for everybody to do overnight, but one job left to do today, and that is to try to take the win in round three. Heads up, here we go, ready to race. Oh, Kalia Koski, the lucky pop, but Chris Thompson did too, not a great start. Brinson gonna try and shut the door, baby tried to get around the outside, gonna slide to P3, Kalia Koski up on two wheels, Gronholm almost spins in the background, drops to P6. It's Brindis and Christophson, OC Baby Kaliokoski oh. into the rear of Baby, runs him up the barrier on the inside line. Who's gone round? Kaliokoski parked and so's Baby in the background. Both Audis. Carnage behind them. And that's Brindison then leading from Christophson and Marcus. Nicholas Gronholm is up into P3. And this really changes the race, doesn't it? But now Christophson doesn't have to worry about the traffic. Looks oh. to the inside of Brindison towards the end of the lap. Christophson's going to joke it immediately. This is exactly what Brindison didn't need. He needed the other guys in this race to hold Christophson back after the joker. Christophson's joke and come out in front of, of uh, Gronholm already. So are there any cars parked up in turn one or turn two? And, and are the drivers going to see them in time? So Brindison will be showed a yellow if there's anything still parked there, I want to see what's in the corner. Everyone's got away, so everyone's got away. Gronholm now in the dust, and this is about Christopherson versus Brindison. Brindison has to respond on this hat lap hell, but it's probably too late already. This is played into Christopherson's hands so much. I'm almost a bit disappointed, not because I don't want Christopherson to win, but I would have liked to have seen him have to fight for it that little bit more. Brindison's going to respond now, but it's going to be so tight on the merge. Here we go, Brindison going to get on the handbrake, flick it back round the other way. He's run a little bit too deep in there, and he comes out almost alongside Johan. It was nearly enough, but Christopherson takes the lead. Brindison slots into P2. Gronholm hasn't joked in this third, but Kaliokoski, I think he's a long way back, so Gronholm's probably in a safe P3. Oh, Brindison, he nearly did it, Hal. He was a little bit, a little bit scruffy in this next hairpin on the first lap. Look at the, the damaged parts of cars. Oh, so you just close. can't afford to give Christophson the lap, so he had no option but to joke it, because Christophson would have eaten into that margin. But at the same time, he needed a little bit longer to try and tidy up the half. Yeah, if Johan had had just anyone battling with him, Gronholm goes joke lap now. If Johan had had anyone to fight with, or just a little bit more of a problem in the first corner... It just makes more of it more... It, it, it makes the strategy more complicated. I almost wonder if Brinderson should have joked at first, like if he just should have gone for it. But, you know, yeah, you still give Christophson clear air, then you give him four laps, don't you? But you might as well give up at that point as well. Oh, dear. I'm not even sure the door is damaged. Maybe it's just a mirage on the front row. Lap four out of five, and these three are, are pretty much unchallenged. Kalio Koski is 11.7 seconds down. Have you any idea what happened in turn one? Nightmare for the JC guys. I know I know that much. Both ideas. We saw an Audi almost roll, didn't we? Right up. It looked like it was on top of the barrier, or at least underneath a car. Kalio Koski was in the middle of that as well. Christopherson! Oh, Christopherson! Christopherson front wide! The rear tyre's been smoking. Has he got a puncture? Johan Christophson's going slightly slowly. I did wonder whether or not he would hold on. The car may be crabbing a little down the straight now. Has he got deflation on his hands? There was a lot of smoke coming from the rear of the car. So Johan Christophson with a, either with a problem or a mistake. And Prindersen is all over the back of him now. Half a lap to go as they come up over the crest. Watch for where they appear. He's got to keep that door closed. Prindersen and Kronholm are right there and they're desperate to pounce. He gives him a little nudge through the long right-hander. Johan Christophson going to come through the left now. Is he going to keep the door shut? He takes the inside line. He won't run it out too wide. The smoke pours from the rear right. It was this corner. Here's the problem. Go straight again. Johan Christopherson struggling. Brindison looking to try and get the inside line. Oh, Brindison can't quite get there. Christopherson shuts the door. Final corner to go. Up the inside. Brindison takes it from Kronholm. Christopherson P3. Unbelievable. Wow, what a final lap. What a great job Christopherson did at trying to hold that position. But what great composure from Thomas Brindison to come back out of the throttle, go in and place the car so well that it was shutting the door for Brinson. But Brinson had the, the awareness, the Christofferson-type awareness to come back out of the throttle.